Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a squeeze page just like the one that you are seeing now on the screen. And of course, you can use this um, squeeze page to generate leads or even build your email list if you can drive traffic from Facebook, um, um, TikTok, YouTube, or any other social media uh, platform or any other uh, traffic source, in, whether it is a paid traffic or an organic traffic. And when people add their contact information, for example, the name and email address, they will be redirected to a thank you page where you can just thank them for signing up for your lead magnet or free course. And maybe you can even add here an opt uh, and one time offer with a huge discount for one of your uh, paid offers. Not only this, once people sign up to this um, squeeze page or with this squeeze page, they will be added to your uh, CRM or email marketing platform, such as ConvertKit, MailChimp, MailerLite, which I'm using during this video but before i show you how you can do this i just wanted you to know that this video is part of my 100 days video challenge where, where i create a video for youtube every single day for for 100 days so if you can support me by subscribing to the channel with this will be a great support and thank you so much in advance so now let me show you how you can do this using a free tool inside wordpress the first step we need to make is to install a plugin called Cadence Blocks, uh, which is a free WordPress plugin that everyone can download. So to download the plugin, you go to plugins and click add new. And in this search bar, you look for Cadence Blocks. And this is the plugin we're looking for. You can activate it or install it and activate it like any other plugin by just clicking install now and activate the plugin to be able to use its features. The next step is that we need to create two pages, two new pages. So we need to the squeeze page and also the thank you page. So to create the two pages, you go to pages and click add new. And let's start by adding the squeeze page. Let's call this new squeeze page, new squeeze page. And let's click publish. And let's go again to the dashboard and create another one by clicking add new or even click add new here. And let's call this thank you too. Now we can start designing the squeeze page itself. So let's go back again and search for the new squeeze page. This is the new squeeze page. So let's click edit. And now we can start adding content inside this page. So uh, to add content, you need to click this plus button. And here you'll find uh, some widgets, multiple widgets actually added by the Cadence Box. You'll find a countdown timer, Google Maps widget, info box, icon list. Of course, a form widget, which will be used to add our opt-in form. But to start designing it, I like to add or to drag a row layout, which will help us like design all the sections of the page and it's you can choose like two columns layout uh, three columns for this tutorial you'll be using the row layout which has or include one column only now we have our row added inside the page i think the first thing we need to uh, start with is to add a background uh, image for this row to add a background image you need to go to the right of the screen and make sure that you are choosing the row layout because this is how cadence blocks work Cadence blocks, when you are using the row layout inside each row, you'll find a section and inside a section, you can add uh, whatever content or widget you can, you need to add. To know the skeleton or the hierarchy of the page, you simply click this uh, three um, or toggle icon and here you will know exactly the structure of the page. So now we have one row layout, we have a section and inside the section we can add our content and the row has its own controls which you can find it in the right part or, or right uh, bar of the or the right side of the page and also the section has its own controls here so to add a background uh, image to the row we need to make sure that we are selecting it and to add the background under style here you'll find you can add a background color this one or you can um, delete it and add a background image so let me add a background image and this is the image that I like to add. So I just click select. So now we have a, an image of as a background for the row. To make sure that this background or this uh, um, section stretched across the width of the full width of the screen, you need to click this uh, icon and choose full width. It will show up now once we have it in a new page or open this in a live page. So now we have our row and now we need to uh, work with our section. So we need to add a background color of a black to this section, which if you remember the squeeze page, again, once you choose the, the selection, the section um, um, widget, you can go to under style and now we can add a background color of black. So this is the black background of the section. 
So now we need to stretch the rolly out across all the height of the page. To stretch it, make sure that again you choose the rolly out. And here I think under, yes, under advanced, under structure settings, here you can choose the minimum height of the row layout itself. To, so make sure that you don't um, use the pixels, make sure you use the vertical high, highlight or height. And it's at 100% here, so the background will stretch across all the height of the screen. To make sure that or to add the content of the section itself to be in the middle of the page, you again make sure that you are using the rolly out and here you can ch choose whether you want to be aligned to the, the section to be aligned to the top or to the middle or to the bottom. So we need to make sure it is aligned to the middle. So now all the content will be adding will be added to the middle of the page. To make sure that or to de decrease the width of the section, again make sure that you are choosing the rolly out and under the layout, you, here you can control the size of the section itself. So um, you can just use this slider or I can add just 800 pixels here to make it like uh, squeezed. So this is our section now. If we just, uh, you know, close it from here now we have our row and inside the row we have our own section which will be used to add our content i like to add some padding around this section so we can give give breath to the content uh, which will be added how uh, the title subtitle and the opt-in form inside the section so to give this uh, some padding we need to go to advanced of the uh, section part itself and here under padding, you can add a top padding, um, right bottom or left padding. So, but I like to make sure that you use link it and uh, add like padding like this. Let's make it medium and click update. So now we can have a section with some padding. Now we can start adding our content or the squeeze page content. Um, so we have, we need to add a title, subtitle and also an optimum form. Then a like a disclaimer for the privacy policy. To add the title or uh, inside the squeeze page, so be adding everything inside the section. You either click this plus button, and but you don't have to do this. You can just click this plus button, will give you access to the same widgets that we have seen before. And I like to use the advanced text widget by Cadence Blocks, and here I can use it. I can use it to add our title and paragraph. But let me come and base first the. Um, the title of the squeeze page so this is the title but you can see it now because we haven't set the color of the text before you can control the color here you can choose just this one and click uh, white or choose the white color and now you can add the colors of every headline but i like to give you another trick which will save you time you can go just go to the rolly out and under the style here you can choose the text color so every color inside this Rolly out will be which color will be white. So everything we will be adding or every text will be adding inside the rolly out will take the white color as a text color. So now we can just make this a center aligned. Of course, you can control the font size by going to the style of the advanced text. And let's make this large. You can just make it whatever font you want to make it large. If you like to add a specific font size, you can just click here and you can change the font size here but i like to use the controls uh, offered by cadence blocks which is large medium and small so uh, so i don't um care about adding like using the same font i'll just use these controls so now we need to add a sub um, um title or a sub headline for this to add a subtitle or a sub headline you click the three dots and you just click insert after and here we can add the subtitle. Uh, so let me just come and paste the content. So now we have our subtitle. As you have seen, it has taken just the color of white automatically. So again, let's center align this. And now we need to add a um, part of, we need to add the opt-in form itself. So to add the opt-in form, again, you click the three dots and you click or choose insert after. And you click this plus button and search for form. And this is our opt-in form. Of course, you can use this form widget to add uh, multiple types of contacts or, or, or forms. You can use it to add your contact form and maybe make some um, larger contact form with more information. But this for this video will be used will be will need all, only the name and the email address. So we can just click the message field and just click this X icon to 
deleted and now we need to, we have our name and the email address we need to add a content for this button so let me uh, just write get access now and we can just again choose the uh, button and center align it so now we have our title subtitle opt-in form and now we need only to add the privacy uh, notice to add it make sure that you're choosing the form itself from here and again click the um, three dots and click insert after and here we can add our privacy disclaimer so let me just add it and it's center aligned it so now we have all the content of the squeeze page now we need to make it functional so when someone signs up we need to add it to add the, the redirect feature and also connect with our mailer light um, crm to make this we need to make sure that we are choosing the form itself here and here under the general tab you'll find the actions so what actions do you want to happen after someone signs up we need to uh, do you want to receive an email you can check this but i like to redirect them the users to another page and also choose the mailer light so we can add their contact information into our our mailer light account so once you choose this and of course you can add them to fluence rm uh, mailer light fluence rm are free to be used like you can use them for free uh, if you like to add them to send them below mailchimp or any other uh, uh, CRM like uh, Active Campaign or uh, or ConvertKit, you need to have the pro version of Cadence Blocks. But of course, you can use them. Uh, you can add this contact information inside Light, which is which offers a free plan up to I think 1,000 subscriber, and you can add them for Fluent CRM, which is another plugin can, that can be used as a CRM. So once you choose the Light and the redirect, here you'll find two new options: the redirect, the, the redirect, the re redirect settings, where you need to choose which page that. Uh, will be used as a redirect page so let's here choose the thank you to uh, page that's it and let's go to the mailer light settings also here you need to add two things first you need to add your api which you can simply um, get by going to your uh, mailer light account and under integrations here you'll find a tab called api you just click use you generate a new token and let's call this squeeze page and you make sure you choose the i have read and also the api token requirements of course you can use or can choose their or read their term views here and click create token and now we need to copy it and let's go to again to the page and let's paste it here and click save now once this so once this uh, appears so now with the process of connecting the form into miller right has been uh or was correct so now we need to select a group which is some sort of attack so i like to add to uh, I, I like to add the people who signs up to the lead tab or tag and here we need to map the fields so uh, the name will be added like a name and the name field will be connected to the email field so now let's click update and let's view the page so let's view the page here okay so this so this is the opt-in page but again you'll find a header and a footer the header and footer are controlled by your own theme but um, in this video, I'm using the Cadence theme, um, so I can just disable them very easily. But you can do the same if you're using Astra, Generate Press, Ocean WB, uh, Ploxy, or any other popular theme. Uh, so to remove them, we go to the page settings here, and let's disable the page title, and let's disable the header and footer. Let's click Update. Let's refresh the page. Now we have designed our uh, a squeeze page now we need to design our thank you page so let's again go to the all pages and open the thank you page and click edit and so we can start uh, designing the page so i'll just open it now and start designing the page so this is the thank you page we can start by clicking the plus button and drag and drop a rolly out and choose one uh, column rolly out now we have our column so we need to add to make sure that the width of the screen again let's make this a 800 pixel the width of the content sorry so now the width of the content is 800 and let's add a background um, color of black to the section so again make sure that you're choosing the section not the rolling out so this is a section under style we we'll go to the background and choose this um, background color to be uh, black so again let's you know just center aligned it to be in the middle of the page by going to the rolly out and here let's uh, sorry here let's make this full width first and let's choose to be aligned to the middle so let's click um, the x and let's make this in the middle by going to or stretch the row um, height itself by choosing the rolly out and go to the style 
Oh no, no the style, no the advanced and under the st st structure settings. And let's choose this to be vertical height and make sure it is 100%. So now we have our content box just aligned in the middle of the screen. To add a thank you um, message, the best option we have here is to click the uh, add block and choose the info box. This is a very powerful widget which can be used by uh, which can be used for different reasons. So we here we can choose to change the um, the icon itself by going to the style and choose the um, media and change the color from here or the icon from here. And let's make this like 60 pixel the screen and change the title to be thank you and then we can uh, change the uh, description to be something like a thank you message so let me add a message quickly here and if you like to increase the title um, font size you go to the under style again under title settings you can make it like x large if you like and of course you can again you can change the uh, description by going to the text settings and make this large if you like again and also we can change the background color of the info box um, all of it by going to the container settings and you can change the background to be dark also and here i think we need to change the background or the font size let's let me check if we can change it from the rolly out uh, so we go to the not here we go to the style text color let's choose white and now everything is white now. Maybe we need to change the color of the icon. So we need to go to the um, info box again under style. Here under the media settings, we need to go to the color of the icon. Let's make this white. And for the hover, let's also make it like white again. So we have everything in quite consistent. I think the padding and the margin is okay. So let's click update. And let's view the page here. So this is the thank you page. Again, we need to make sure that we remove the header and footer. And maybe check this, um, the color of the thank you message. So let's go back again. And I think we need to go to the text settings. So let's go to these text settings. Uh, not this one, the text settings. Yes, here. And let's, you know what? The text color, we haven't chosen it. So let's make sure this is white here and white also here and let's go to the remove the header and footer let's go to the page settings and disable the header the footer and also let's disable the page title and click update and let's refresh the page so now the thank you page is ready now we need to test the whole process so let's go uh, let's close this page and let's refresh this page and let's add a name here let's call this uh, test name and let's add a test email 33 at gmail.com and let's click I get access now as you can see we have been redirected to the thank you page let's go back to MailerLite and check if we if the uh, contact details has been added so this is how you can design a squeeze page redirect people to a thank you page and add their contact information into MailerLite or any other um, email marketing platform or CRM such as active campaign MailerLite um, MailChimp or even fluent CRM so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and I, hope, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel to support me in my 100 days of content creation for YouTube. Uh, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.